Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to call SubVI front panel or display the front panel of the SubVI and close it accordingly in LabVIEW. As you can see, we have a SubVI naming Splash SubVI and the main VI is the untitled the untitled one block diagram contains a code that will generate an array of 100 elements with random numbers between 0 to 100. Now what we'll do is we'll go into the subvi and modify it accordingly as required. First of all what we'll do is for the sake of the demonstration we'll make this as a welcome information We'll write the name Welcome to Random Number Generator and increase the size so it will be much more easier to view or to understand. And then we'll add a Boolean button, OK button, so that whenever this subvia has been called, this front panel will be displayed and it will wait until the user interacts with the button. So when the user interacts with the button, this sub-VI will be closed and then it will return back to the main VI. Since we are using the sub-VI, so it will require the error in and error out terminals. Okay. Now we'll save this VI and then go to the block diagram to modify the code since we're not doing too many calculations we're just uh, writing a code that will interact with the OK button so we'll use a while loop and then connect that terminal into that one so whenever the user interacts with the button the while loop will exit and then we'll enter the return to the main VI again So now call it all and then we're done with the sub VI. And now since this will be called from the main VI, we'll drag the icon that will drag the sub VI into the main VI. Now we'll connect uh, with the error cluster wire to aid the data flow. Now since uh, now we are all connected and now what we'll do is we have to modify, make some modification on the sub VI properties. So we'll change in the dialog because we don't want to interact. And then this is very important. We have to check both of those. So front panel when called and close afterwards if originally closed. So now let's test this VI. When we run, the sub VI is being called from the main VI and then the front panel will be open until we interact with the button. This is how we'll call and close the front panel of the sub -view.